This is Knees Over Toes Guy, beloved darling of the internet, exercise guru, and friend of Joe Rogan. Your exercises made my knee stronger. And it appears he's mastered the powers of levitation. Well, obviously, the man can dunk. Anyways, as a person who is overconfident with most things I try, meh, it can't be too hard. And made my way to the local gym to give it a go. But as I lied flat on my face, realizing my poor hamstrings may never recover, I thought, what's the purpose of this exercise? So what Ben Patrick is performing is a Nordic curl, and it's said to have three main benefits. Strengthen and cause hypertrophy in the hamstrings. And if an exercise can help combat my undiagnosed disease for small leg syndrome, and help me prove that I do train legs, even though the evidence would say otherwise, I'll definitely give it a go. Improve running speed and jumping ability and creating a suit of armor for your knees. Help me get some of the most bulletproof knees in the world. Having strong bulletproof knees is quite desirable. I tore my MCL when I was 17 and I've had knee problems throughout my entire life and lifting journey. And every other day, I realize my knee has its own idea of fun and dislodges cartilage and pops out. Monkey. What's my approach? Over the four weeks, I'm gonna to attempt to go from falling on my face to hopefully being a full Marty St. Louis curl, hopefully, and see how low I can go on the eccentric. The goal would be to go all the way down and potentially go all the way up but I'm realistic and I don't think I'll be able to do that. Well, the only thing left to do now is get suffering. Let's go. So during my first workout, I attempted to see how far I could control myself all the way down the eccentric. My range of motion isn't that bad for my first time ever trying it. For my first day, there's plenty to work on, but my hamstrings didn't spontaneously combust. I didn't get injured. We gotta take some positives when we can get them. I like to train my Nordics after my compound lifts, as at the end of the day, I like to prioritize my powerlifting and bodybuilding training in order for myself to be competitive when I compete in those sports. And the use of Nordics in my training is to be used as an accessory to add volume and strengthen my knees as well as my hamstrings to be more explosive in the squat and hopefully the deadlift. As for the first week, it's pretty clear I'm not that strong in it yet. I've got a long way to go. However, the use of the exercise ball has been essential for me to progress, as it allows me to progressively overload my hamstrings by slowly dropping the height every session. So eventually, I might be able to levitate like Ben Patrick. The exercise ball allows me to focus on the eccentric, as well as progressively getting better at the MSL curl, because the Marty St. Louis curl is something else. It's nuts. As the second week begun, I replaced a large exercise ball with two quarter size balls. It's been really interesting to see how quickly I've progressed and being able to control the curl to a higher degree. I'm still nowhere near my goal, but having respectable increases in gains or newbie gains gives you motivation to continue to train to get better. And for me, that's the best part about learning new skills and trying new things. And as Bro Science Life says, You've seen what you could be and what you once were all on the same day. But after just a week, my knees feel a lot better because of the Nordic curl. I'm not bulletproof or ready to run an ultra marathon. And the spring in my step and the confidence I now have to go row. That's a good five seconds. Ride my bike. Like I now know what a derailleur is, which is cool. Or even, heaven forbid, a run is really pleasing. Now it's probably too early to be realistically feeling the effects of the Nordic curls on strengthening my knees and I'm probably suffering from that good old-fashioned placebo effect. But the reassurance that I feel from training my muscles and joints to have more longevity in order to be protected against injuries in my knees is definitely a positive for me. Slowly but surely, I'm feeling stronger, more confident and controlled with my exercise ball. I'm getting to the point now where I barely have to touch it and thus maintaining time and attention before coming back up. And something I need to fix again is my form. By pushing my posterior out, I'm favoring my glutes over my hamstrings. But luckily for me, there's an easy fix. If I try to imitate Ben Patrick's form, I'll try and keep my body as straight as an arrow on the way up and down. And by trying to accentuate the straightness of my body, I'll put more pressure on my hamstrings and make them the prime mover, thus strengthening them. Now, if we consider the issue of frequency, it's important to note that Nordics absolutely destroy my poor chicken legs. The attempts I've had to progressively overload them each week has caused great progress on my hamstrings, but the unfortunate disadvantage of me not being able to walk upstairs anymore, because man, I really do miss being able to walk straight and not having to hobble. I'm 21, I shouldn't be walking like this. After four weeks of attempting to do Nordics, let's see how far I can go compared to when I started. For the eccentric curl, I'm super pleased with my progress. 
I can almost get my quad to touch the decline bench that I've been using the entire experiment, which is kind of nuts to look at when comparing to when I first started. The angles are so different and I'm so happy. My range of motion has also improved and I feel really good about the progress. I thought that I could potentially be doing full Nordics within the month, but once again, a challenge that I've tried has humbled me. Wait, wait, Hamish, Hamish, what about the MSL? Can you do them yet? The MSL for me has been a very difficult exercise and to anyone who can do it, congratulations because that is such an amazing achievement and I hope to be able to do it soon and I will follow up in a future video of me hopefully doing it. But for now, this is about all I can do. We'll take it. The best thing about Nordics for me is that leg day training sessions now have a new exercise which I find fun and motivating to do. It complements my squats, it complements my other accessories and it adds more volume to my hamstrings. But the only reason I really made this video was to prove I actually do train legs. Now I know they're small and they're not really noticeable, but it's not about the size of the boat.